it's Rachel from All About Planners. So I've been getting a lot of requests for a tutorial on how to do A5 size weekly planners in Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So open up Photoshop and go to File New. Now I've got A5 set up as a preset in Photoshop, but if you don't have that, just enter the dimensions, hit say preset, and then it'll show up in here whenever you want to use it in the future. I always use RGB color mode. I print printables at home. The color is fine. Um, some people prefer to use CMYK, totally up to you. If you're going to get them printed somewhere, I'd probably go with CMYK. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it at RGB. A white background, I always do 300 pixels per inch and then hit OK. So, I'm going to keep it all in the one Photoshop file. So, I'm going to design the left side of the page. We're going to do a two page weekly spread and then I'm going to reuse that for the right side of the page. So, the thing about making printables is to recycle all your templates so you can use um, a horizontal weekly planner and then you can convert that into an annual planner um, switch from a monthly calendar into a weekly planner that's got different categories for each day you get the idea um, make the template once and then reuse it so then you save a lot of time so first things first I'm going to create a new layer and then come over to the shape tool I'm going to right click and I've got my rectangle tool selected so if you're currently seeing that if you right click you can switch to the rectangle tool I'm going to do four boxes per page. So I'm going to have Monday to Thursday, and then on my right page, I'm going to have Friday to Sunday, and then a notes box down the bottom. I figure this is a very simple layout that seems to be quite popular. So we'll start with something basic on how to make them. So fill color, I'm going to choose nothing. So fill will obviously be if you have a whole color in the entire box. Stroke is just what they call the border. Now I'm just going to leave it at black, but if you want a different color, you can choose it from here or in the color picker tool. If there's a specific color that you want to use, enter in the RGB codes or the six digit hex code and then hit OK. And for my stroke, I don't like it to be too thin, but I also don't want it to be too fat. Now keep in mind that A5, you don't want to waste a lot of the page with like decorative stuff because it's already a small page size. And if you put too much decorative things on there, you probably won't be able to have much room to write. So I don't go anything bigger than a two point border. I'm going to do a solid border just to keep it simple, but if you wanted to, you could do a dashed or a dotted one as well. So I've sketched out on a piece of paper that I have in front of me um, the design that I want to do. I like to sketch it out on paper first and then translate it digitally. You can also just experiment on, straight onto your computer um, and just play around with the dimensions until you're happy with it. So I'm going to left click and then it'll bring up this box here where I can type in the dimensions that I want. So I want a 12 centimeter wide by 4.5 centimeter high box and then hit OK. Now if you click on the move tool up here you can left click and drag to relocate it. So at this size I've left a decent amount of margin on the left and the right. If you're not sure what margin to use I would recommend no less than 0 0.5 um, inches. The reason being is because if you want to punch and put them in a ring bound planner the rings extend quite far into the page um, and waste a lot of space. You might even want to do a 0.75 inch margin. Um, I prefer to use disc bound planners because they only come to about here as opposed to about here if you've got ring bound and I don't tend to do um, anything more than 0.5 inches. So I'll leave that up to you. You can see what margin you've allowed with the rulers tool up here. So if you press Control R on your keyboard it'll bring up the rulers. Okay so getting back to making our actual design. So I've got one box. I'm going to align this to the center of the page. So I've got that layer selected. Um, if you're experimenting with different sizes, you just want to double left click and you can rename your layers for future reference. Just a side note. Okay, so I've got my marquee tool selected. I'm going to left click and drag. So I've got this dash border on the left and the right because that's where I want to align it to. And then if you hit that button there, it will move it to the middle. Now I'm going to fit four of these on the page. So I just need to move this up a bit. So control T, hold down shift and then drag it up. The reason you want to hold down shift is so as you can see there it says 0, 0.00 up in this little corner thing. Um, the reason being is that it will keep it aligned to the center like we just did before so you don't have to keep realigning it. Shift will keep everything in a straight line. And then press enter to place it. So now I need to make multiple copies of this. So if you press control J with that layer selected, I want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I've got four copies. With my last layer selected, press Control T and then hold down that Shift key again and then drag it down. Now I don't like to put it too close to the edge of the page because when I'm writing my hand will like come off it and it will just be sort of awkward. So I don't put it right to the very end, like I would never put it that close. 
Um, some printers can also be a little bit touchy with how close you have things to the edge. It can cut stuff off. So just be mindful of that when you're choosing your margins as well. And then press enter to place it. So now I need to get all four boxes appearing. So I'm going to use my favorite tool in Photoshop, which is the align tools. So if you click on your first layer up here, hold down shift and then click on the last one. So they're all selected in your layers menu and hit that button there and it will automatically space them evenly between each box, which is a feature that I absolutely love about Photoshop. So now I've got my four boxes. I need to add my days of the week. Um, going back earlier to what I said about recycling templates, this is a very simple design that you could use in so many ways. You could do like a goal printable. I've done uh, monthly planning, like an overview one, you know, with your different goals here, or you could do your weeks, week one, two, three, four per box. If you want to do um, like a future log, you could do January, February, March, April, another copy for the next four months of the year and so on. So a very simple um, design that you can use in a lot of different ways. So let's add some text. So I'm going to create a new layer, come over to the text tool over here. Um, I've just got a very simple font selected. I like to just use a basic font when I'm designing and then when I'm happy with the design, I'll go back and pretty it up with a different font and colors and all that kind of stuff. I just find it rather distracting um, doing that when I'm making it. I'd rather just make it all and then put it up at the end. So I'm just going to keep it with black font. If you did want to use a different font though, if you left click, it will bring up that color picker tool again. If you wanted to use a color that you've already got on your design, if you click that button there, it will extract it. Like it will pick it up and automatically change the color to that. So it's a quick way to color match if you can't remember what um, color code you used. Now I'm just going to left click and start typing. So I'm going to start it on a Monday and I'm just going to type the word Monday. If you wanted to add some dates, you could obviously put your dates in there. I prefer to use undated printables because I change my weekly spread so often. So if you like to do undated as well, if you hold down shift and the dash key, which is between the zero and the plus sign on your keyboard, it'll become an underline and it'll create a little line where you can write the date if you have super crooked um, handwriting like I do. Okay, so we've got Monday, so I'm going to click the move tool. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. The other thing that you might want to do is in the characters menu, so if you're not seeing that, go to window and then click character and it'll appear over here, is make your font bold. I pretty much always use bold for my font because it just stands out better on the page. Um, really a personal preference, but yeah, I like to put it on bold. I'm going to just move that up a little bit by using the arrow keys on my keyboard because I don't want it too close to the edges of the box but also don't want it wasting a lot of space. Um, to move in and out like zoom like I am right now, press control and the minus sign and then if you want to zoom in, control and the plus sign. Okay, so I've got one day up here. I need to duplicate that like I did with the boxes and repeat it for the rest of the week. So I've got that layer selected in my layers menu. Press Control J and it'll create multiple copies. Remember we need four because we've got four boxes. With that last one selected, press Control T, then hold down the Shift key, left click and drag it down. Now um, remember to hold down the Shift key so it will keep it in a straight line. And then we want to align them like we did with the boxes. So click on your first one, hold down Shift so you've got them all selected and click that button there and now it will evenly distribute them across. So obviously I don't need four Mondays on the page, so let's rename them. So I've clicked on my text tool, I'm going to click on the one that I want to change. And then I'm going to type what it is instead. So Tuesday, and then we'll go Wednesday. And don't worry about that, we'll align it in a sec. And then Thursday. Okay, so now I need to make sure they've all got the same spacing between the edge of the box here. So select them all again. Hold, uh, left click on one, hold down shift and then click on the last one and then I'm going to hit this button here to align them. Now I just use a little arrow key to move them across again. So I've got my four days of the week. The only thing I need to add is the week of up the top. That's optional. Um, I'd like to add it but you can leave it out if you don't want it. Click on the text tool and then left click up the top here and I'm just going to type week of and I'm going to move that over a little bit and then I'm going to align it to the left. The reason I moved it beyond here is because when you align to the left, as you saw before with the days, Photoshop will automatically pull um, the alignment to the thing that's the furthest to the left. If you align it to the left, same with the right. So I want this to align with the box here, so I move it just back a bit. So I've clicked on week of, 
hold down control and click on one of your box layers and then press that button there and now it is in alignment. So I've got my uh, left side of the page created, let's do our right page of the weekly spread. So we're not going to recreate all of this, we're just going to copy it and I'm going to keep it all in the one Photoshop file as well. So I'm going to create a folder down here by clicking that little icon and I double left click and rename it as left page and I'm going to left click, hold down shift and click again so I've got all of these selected, left click and drag to drop them in there. Now the reason I use a folder is because it can get really messy if you've got lots of different layers especially ones like this where I'm going to have boxes on the left and boxes on the right so by doing it in a folder it keeps it all together I can click that button there and it will really simplify what I see in the menu here so I'm going to press ctrl J and now I've got a copy and I'm going to hide that one there so I've still got my left page I can go to file save as and make it a PDF and then I've got my left page and now I'm about to do my right so I'm going to double left click and rename that right page now I don't want to put week of on both the left and the right. I'm going to change this to the month. You can put nothing here if you prefer. If that's the case, if you click the eye icon, it will hide that layer. Otherwise, if you left click, press Control A, it will highlight all of the text. And then I'm going to change that to month. And I'm just going to realign that again. So I've got month, left click on the box, and then click that button there and it'll pull it back in line. So the only thing left to do is to rename my days of the week. So Thursday, next day is Friday. And the next day again is Saturday. And the next day is Sunday. So I'm keeping the boxes all the same size for this one. However, if you wanted to, you could resize them. So you could delete this bottom box and expand out Saturday and Sunday boxes. Um, totally up to you. This is like a base layout and then you can customize however you like. So I'm going to left click on that notes one, hold down shift and left click on my Friday and then click that button there to align them to the left. Now I want it to have the same spacing as my left page did. So I'm going to turn that back on. Now obviously it looks a bit busy so let's just turn off all the other layers other than Monday. And then I will see where I need to move it to. So I've got them selected, I'm gonna press the arrow key I'm going to move it so it's in line with where my Monday started, which is there. So now I've got my second page of my weekly spread created. So I'd go to File, Save As, and then save it as a PDF, or you can do a JPEG if you prefer. You can um, combine the two PDFs in Adobe, so they'll become part of the one document. Um, you can do duplex printing if you wanted to do this at letter page size or A4, like a full page size. Um, you can just recreate, the, well not recreate, you could duplicate these onto a new document and expand it so it's on US paper and when you print you can choose A5 in your print menu if you don't want to um, pre-make it at this A5 page size like I've done here. So I personally prefer to do that option, I make it at full page size and then I just change the page size when I go to print it. However, if you wanted A5 from the beginning, this is how you would do it, as I've just shown in this tutorial. So right page turned off, and then your left page. So now that you've got this design, you can tweak it however you like. You can do that annual planner that I was talking about before, January, February, March, April. You could do um, week one, two, three, four. You could do different goals, so like personal, health, career, blog. Um, whatever you like you could add some lines remember with the little undated line that I showed before that I was talking about before if you go to the text tool and then you left click press shift and then the dash key which is between the zero and the plus sign on your keyboard it'll become a line and then you can add that to the weekly spread if you wanted lined um, if you want to expand that out just double left click sorry press control a and then control C and then control V will make um, more lines. Um, you could leave it half lined, half unlined if you prefer, or you can make it lines the whole way along. If you want to align that to the center of the page, it's the same deal as we did before with the boxes. Click on the marquee tool, left click and drag, and then align it to the center. So it's a little bit too long. Let's pull that back a bit. Cool, and then control D to deselect. So I've got one line, if you press Control J, I can make a couple. Same deal like we did with the boxes, click on your last one, press Control T, 
uh, left click and then drag it down and I'm also holding um, shift to keep it all in a straight line press enter to place it and then to distribute these evenly I've left clicked on the first one hold down shift so I've got them all selected press that button there and now I've got evenly spaced lines if you want to repeat that for all of the days of the week um, I find it easier to merge the layers and then copy or you could just copy it straight down it's just that you'll have a lot of layers with lines in your um, menu. So if you want to merge it, like I said before, uh, press Control J, it'll have all of them selected. Right click and then choose rasterize type and then right click merge layers. And now I can move this all as one piece further down my page, as you saw there, rather than each being individual. I do still like to keep these just as a template. You can hide them, you could put them in a new folder. Um, the reason being, let's say you wanted to change it to a half um, width line, so you've got half your box line, half unlined. If you select those layers again, press Control T, you can pull that back in, and then you've got a half lined, half unlined box. Um, so yeah, that's how you do an A5 size printable with lines, unlines, and then you can recycle this template to make other things as well. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, I do have an e-course where I teach how to make other types of printables like daily planners, monthly calendars, more weekly planners, um, all different types. I'll include the link below if you're interested in enrolling. Thanks for watching.